everyone, look what came in. Um, the Grace and Delilah box. So I'm very happy to get it. I always am. I love this. It's a Christian um, subscription box. It only costs like $33 a month plus taxes. I believe I get charged for $36 a month for this subscription. Anyway, it is a very good subscription. Love it. You get two to three books plus extra stuff in there and a pen love the pen <laughs> and the pad you can't use more pads right anyway you will see everything in the box the books will tell you what the books are and everything um the woman who does this is very very sweet um <coughs> she is wonderful because not only does she put the subscription box together for all of us which is on good and bad women of the bible because yes you can learn things from the bad women too and um, so it tells you a little bit about all of that. And so she coordinates all of that together. And she also does an email. If you um, subscribe to her email, she'll send you um, almost every day. She'll send you a new um, woman and talk about her. And so you get to know these women of the Bible. And so to me, that's very important. It's, it's um, very nice. I love the fact that she does all this. Plus, you can go to her store and she has other books for sale. She has uh, mugs and she sells soaps. And I believe she also has body lotion. So she sells a little bit of everything. So you should check her out. Really, really good. Plus, she forgot. Let's put it... She forgot last month um, I didn't get my gift card, which was supposed to be in last month's box. This nice woman sent the, car, sent the card to me. Oh, a hand towel. Look at that. Isn't that just pretty? She sent me a hand towel and a nice little note. And that she was so sorry about it. It was so sweet. I absolutely love it. And I love this subscription. And she's just a very, like I said, she's a very sweet woman. You can follow her online, um, a little bit everything. So let's get into her pretty little box. Oh, and every other month you get a pretty bag that she hand makes. Um, and then you get the pretty box. So both of them are great for so stirring. So I like the fact that she does it every other month. So you get a box and then a, a bag and then a box. I love that. Anyway, so open the box. This is a December box. So let's... Get into seeing what we have in the December box. And the first thing we have, oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. You get a organic Moringa Lemon Ginger Herbal Tea. It's an excellent source of vitamins B6 and B12. It helps support... Um, Antioxidant support, immune system, mental vitality, and digestion. Oh, wow. Not only do you get the little tea. I'm going to see if you can see the little, see the little spoon right there. Isn't that cute? With the little ball. That is just so cute. I love it. I absolutely love that. Nice. Ooh, and of course, I had to show you my pen. I got a pen. Look at that. Nice, pretty color for Christmas. Nice and red. And of course... Always has her shop on it. So next we have, let's see. Oh, pretty little cards. I like the red. <laughs> Keep them with the color red. Grace and Delilah, here's a sample of a few cards from the Christian culture card game that we carry online. I thought you'd enjoy some discussion sample questions. Check the game out online and enjoy 15% off code with Grace15. And of course, that's graceanddelilah.com. I'll have that listed down below, even with the discount and everything. So, you, so please check that out. Okay, so it says, let's discuss. These are Christian, Christian culture. So I got two cards here. One in red and one in blue. Okay. Now, the red one says, this is a hot topic, and these are icebreakers. So, blue is icebreakers, and red are hot topics. Okay. And should the church have political views? That is a good question. Because they're not supposed to be political. It's supposed to be political, and Christian is supposed to be um, Christian. But... The problem with that is 
is our values should translate to political because they're supposed to work for us, correct? So if they work for us, then um, yes, in a way, I believe that whatever it is, whether they should have views about government because it is the way we live. So I believe the people should uphold that. But as far as the church itself, that's a good question because they would too, as far as their values and stuff. And if something is, I think they should, if like something is wrong, but like I said, it's up to the people. The people themselves are the ones that should garner that. The, the church is supposed to um, look after the people and share God's interests. So that, that really is a hard question. I have to think about that one. Because in a way, part of me wants to say yes and part of me wants to say no. So, very good question. Interesting. Answer this question. Name one factor you can cons you consider before deciding on a permanent church. Um, are the people nice? That's one factor. Okay, but that's not even the biggest factor. My biggest factor is do they teach what's in the Bible? That to me is the biggest factor. So they would have to do church on Sunday. Stop. I mean, not Sunday. I messed up on that one. They would have to have church on Saturday because the Sabbath is, is God's day. So therefore, I don't care if they teach on Sunday. They can teach every day of the week if they want, but they should have a Saturday service because that is God's day. So that's a big thing to me. And then, of course, there's other little things in the Bible, which is why I started as a separate little one that's on my channel right here. It's fellowship. And so I read from the Bible. I'm also going to do an... Um, on the same channel and in view of the fellowship, but kind of like Grace and the Bible, Bible, but I'm going to pick men and women and people of the Bible and talk about them. But I'll have their names down, so if you want to look at any of them, you can go to a direct one if you want to. Okay, the last thing that I have in here is a nice little bookmark. And who cannot use a bookmark? <laughs> I'm forever losing mine, so this is good. And behold, it says Luke 1, 31 to 33. And behold, you will conceive in your room and shall bear a son and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the most high. So this were cool. Um, I kind of actually do like the questions. I'm going to take a look at that game online now. <laughs> I really am because that's interesting questions. Hard, some of them are hard questions. So that's very good. Oh, look, I got some more. Yay. Oh, look at this one. This one's in a cute little cross. Isn't that nice? By this all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. So, love is how he will know. Well, how we will know if you are part of Jesus, you will love. This one is really, really pretty. It's got all the leaves. So, that reminds me of fall. Very pretty. Faith is the, is the substance of all things hoped for. Hebrews 11, 1. Faith is. Now faith is the substance of all things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report through faith that we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Hebrews 11, 1 through 3. So it expands on the front and on the back. It's just a cute little same. Oh, and we... <laughs> okay, I do like peppermint. <laughs> it's a little broken. <laughs> During the ship, but it kind of went back around, but it's just going in the mouth, so it don't matter. Oh, yay, I got a pink one. I didn't know she had different colors. I've been getting beige. I like the fact that I got a different color this year, this month. Very good. And pink is your favorite. Okay, so, oops, there's something else in here. Oh, I'm shocking. I didn't get a pen. Usually, also get a little pen um this this month we got all these other things so which i love um which are all very very nice so but normally you would also get a pen but i like i said i don't know i kind of like the bookmarks and the little tea cozy and everything oh thank you grace and delilah very very nice and this is um the little the woman of the christmas series the delilah box and 
it gives you a little smusk. Eve, the promise of the Savior um, to come, and the women of Christmas. So, part two of four, and part three of four, and all of these are actually in here. So, you got all these right here. So, you got four parts. You've got the story of Eve, the story of Elizabeth, the story of Anna, and the story of Anna. So, you got two different Annas, I believe. And I'll put these back in here so I can show you the books. Okay. She walked before us in grace, courage, strength from 12 women of the Old Testament. Oh, wow. Okay. Two, four, six, eight. Here's eight of them. Miriam, Ruth, Rahab, and, um, Hannah, Deborah, Michael, Abigail, and Bathsheba. Now, experience God's unchanging grace in the challenging seasons of life. In this life, we will walk through loss, heartache, and disappointment, but we won't do it alone. God is with us every step of the way. Just as he was with the women of the ancient times whose lives struggled, trials, and triumphs are recorded in Scripture, drawing on her extensive research into the women of the Old Testament, novelist Jill Eileen Smith shows us how we can claim wisdom, wisdom and strength from our trials, just like these women. You'll discover what ancient women did right, what they did wrong, and how God used the hard things in their lives to make them into the women he always meant them to be. So that is very good. Um, I'm sure we can relate, even though it is a different age. I find that we can relate on um, how hard life is and the challenges that face them. Maybe they're different, but they're the same in a way. Because they overcame them. Okay, this is another one. Scoot over and make some room. Look at there. And this is Creative Space Where Everyone Belongs by Heather Ad Addis. And let's see here. They have a nice big family. Take a breath, whisper a prayer, laugh a little, and make room for the wild flowers. In the world of divisions and margins, who's, those who grow a little differently are all too often shoved aside. Instagram star and mama to three adopted children, two with Down syndrome, Heather Avis, has made it her mission to introduce to the world the unique gifts of those pushed to the edges of society. Wow. Okay, that's going to be a very interesting book, too. Oh, very, very nice things that we can learn. And this one is The Christmas Angel, and now an unforgettable holiday movie. It is a movie. I remember seeing it. I don't I remember watching it. I don't know if I watched it or not. Hmm. But anyway, it's a Hallmark one. And it is a charming, heartwarming Christian Christmas tale sure to delight the fans of Debbie McComber, McComber and Richard Paul Evans about the power of family, tradition, and love. In 1875, Owen Thomas, a poor Welsh coal miner, falls in love with a beautiful London actress, Jessica Lavery. He enchants her with the promise of the holidays they'll share after they marry. Owen carves her an angel to go to the top of the tree and a token and more meaningful to her than any engagement ring. When Jessica breaks off their um, romance, Owen, a broken hearted, belongs to the angel, brings the angel to America. There, she looks down over five generations, witnessing peace and war, triumphs and tragedies. Reminding all who see her that Christmas is a time when families and sweethearts can come together. Laughter and goodwill can lighten even the heaviest burden, burden and the magic fills the earth. This is a story of faith and love and the miracle that brought the angel home again. Wow, three great books. So, you get three books, a pad. The book with the four, um, with the series of the women, which actually was sent on email as well. You get three bookmarks. This is there one, uh, maybe four four bookmarks. Oh, four bookmarks. Oh, I got two of one. Okay, so four bookmarks, and then you get a sample of the card game and I'm sure everybody got different samples of the card game but that's very interesting I do like it um, I think I told you about the pad 
Um, two of these, the poor things, um, got broken in shipment, but they still taste good, people. They still taste good. <laughs> a pen, and you get the tea, the little stirring spoon, and the little dipper to put it in. So, all that for $36. So, so, that is a wonderful subscription. It really is. I love it to death. The price is amazing. Um, as you can see. Out of all the Christian ones um, I've looked over, this is really my favorite. So, for all those who like to read, check out this box. It's awesome. And I hope you like it too. I really do. Anyway, before you go, if you'll please hit the like and the subscribe button for me, that would be wonderful. And have a very blessed day. I'll see you guys later. Bye!